What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this Thursday, almost Friday, September 15th, 2022 date. It is about 1.03 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 1.5 up there on the Earthquake 3D globe right around the Alaska area. We have been seeing a little bit of movement kick up there overnight. Also off the coast of Oregon, uh, seeing a 4.4 earthquake out in the Pacific there, kind of past the Cascadia subduction zone. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, latest activity here on the USGS map. There is that quake off the uh, coast of Oregon. Uh, USGS uh, reporting that as a 4.4 earthquake. That one kicking up overnight. Uh, Cascadia mega thrust subduction zone sits right around here. This is at the edge of the Blanco fracture zone. So overall though, seismic activity has been somewhat uh, increasing along the Cascadia uh, and surrounding areas. Uh, looking further down south, this is a 2.5 and above, so there's not a whole lot up here on California. We're going to bring up the all magnitudes map here and uh, look at some of this microquake activity uh, occurring. Uh, I did have a 2.2 earlier this morning uh, off the coast of Northern California. Now this one sits right smack dab on the Cascadia Megathrust, right at the subduction zone, about 22 kilometers. Uh, down there though, man, it's kind of, uh, that's yeah, right smack dab on it. Uh, and then we also had a uh, 2.4 coming in yesterday uh, up north. Uh, looks like about 22 kilometers as well. So overall, a little bit of seismic increase in pressure uh, along the Cascadia. The Bay Area, some microquakes around the region. Of course, this is the Clear Lake, uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field where the uh, Calpine hydrothermal operations are, the, the uh, power plants. Uh, but looking at the rest of the state, things are uh, very minimal here across California and Southern California as well. Nothing showing up here in the red circles. We did have a query blast. Looks like just outside of the uh, Corona area. Um, not for sure what's going on out there, but uh, a little bit of explosions it looks like up there in the mountains. Let's see what else we got for the uh, Western states. Washington, Oregon, uh, this is all, majority of this activity here from yesterday. Looks like we did have, yeah, all of this is actually from uh, yesterday. No further new movement to, th uh, to take note of there. And those were just some small microquakes around the area of Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens. Uh, Yellowstone National Park uh, listing a few earthquakes up here on the map today, about 10 of them. So let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone raw data here on the seismograph. And as you can see here, uh, basically over the last, looks like it kicked off just earlier this morning time frame. Things starting to ramp up in the uh, earthquake swarm type fashion again here at Yellowstone. Uh, nothing major as you can see there on the map. The largest one so far looks to be a 2.4 coming in uh, earlier this morning. but. These guys are definitely uh, on the ball today with producing these uh, earthquakes into the catalog. Now, there is something over here. Let me look here and see exactly where this earthquake's kicking up. We're looking for the very last earthquake, and it's not going to be this 1.0. Uh, that one came in at 1949 UTC time, which is uh, 1949. Uh, Could be that one, possibly. But uh, I'm kind of curious about this one right here. This signature uh, showed up pretty prominently over here across the eastern portion of Yellowstone National Park. Notice over here at Parker Peak, it's a little bit more well-defined, a little bit more prominent here on the map as far as the signature goes. Uh, and it showed up across uh, quite a few eastern stations and less so on the uh, western stations over here. So I'm not for sure exactly where that one struck at. Um, I, I, it's not the one pointer because it's definitely showing up more stronger than the uh, all these little microquakes. So we'll we'll check back on that. Maybe it'll take them a little bit to issue where that earthquake is occurring. But uh, my guess is it's somewhere a little bit further east here. And occasionally we do see earthquakes here along the eastern section of Yellowstone National Park uh, that show up like that, and, and they just don't report it. Uh, due to the uh, limited seismic stations around the area as far as determining a correct location and depth uh, in the Yellowstone area. So 
Uh, but for now, uh, definitely seeing a little bit of activity kicking up here at Yellowstone far as the uh, swarming goes. And we'll continue to watch that uh, throughout the day today. Down in Texas, we got uh, some movement outside of Pecos, Texas, it looks like, uh, in the cluster fashion out here around the uh, Virginia draw area. Um, pretty good, pretty good swarm going on out there. Looks like uh, quite a few twos. Low grade twos. Uh, let's see what we got for satellite imagery out here. And uh, you know what? It is, definitely is within an area of. Uh, uh, pumping operations you guys see those little ponds out here um, uh, that's about as close as I can zoom in here on this uh, area but that's a pond uh, injection wastewater uh, occurring out here in a uh, in a field some of these may be some older operations out here from years past uh, that have been you know eroded away from the weather the wind the sun uh, basically erased off of the map so to speak of the uh, topography of the land but you can still somewhat see some of these old roads out here uh, that used to be roads but i'm not seeing any uh i'm not seeing any of these little squares that we normally look for these are the newer ones but uh, i think they're out there and that's kind of where the swarming activity is occurring today and uh, around pecos texas area that's just been a uh, an ongoing event here for a while here's another little separate swarm check out the satellite here and you can see these little squares those are this one here kind of looks like an older one not too many uh, not too much operations going on there uh, in recent times but the damage is done below the surface there between six and eight kilometers down uh, it's the uh, injection well or injection uh, wastewater process there creating those uh, um, well the earthquakes that's 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 uh, more so than not a lot of people tend to say well they no they don't they don't cause earthquakes well yes they do look up historical data look at uh, statistics it's very prominent on any graphs that you look at okay uh backing out of there oklahoma uh this movement here let's see what we got uh this one coming in yesterday that's right some of this older movement out there in the uh, the north dibble oil fields pain oil fields oil fields galore just south of the okc area New Madrid zone, that looks like a uh, little bit of movement uh, today, 1.1 and a 2.0. Latest one there, 1.1 earlier this morning time frame. Uh, the Caribbean plate and areas around the Puerto Rico area. Got one more earthquake up here on the Puerto Rico trench itself, a 3.6. Kicking up at, it uh, looks like about 28 kilometers down there. South America, the quiet zone again. Just haven't really seen too much activity ramping up here in recent days. Uh, latest quake looks like uh, one earlier, way earlier, late last night time frame. Just got a notification of a 3.3 coming into the California area right now. Let's see what we got uh, near Los Banos. Looks like that is on the O'Neill Fault. Or let's see, there's a bunch of faults here up against the, uh, the coast range. Spanos Valley section so a couple of different fault systems run in here but either way a 3.3 just coming in uh, minutes ago at 9.6 kilometers deep uh, it has been reviewed or it hasn't been reviewed it's on automatic status so um, let's check out the let's check out the origins here uh, real quick and see what we got yeah, it's probably going to equal out right around the 3.3 uh, or 3.2 range. Just getting a couple stations in there right now, putting out uh, some some of those source parameters there. So, oh man, my birds are going crazy today. Not for sure. Maybe they're predicting the earthquake that may be coming. Who knows? Or maybe they're just being crazy. I got a couple, a couple birds. I've had them for a little while, so they make they make some good pets when they're not super noisy. Uh, 4.6 out there in the southern mid-Atlantic Ridge. That one coming in uh, looks like uh, early this morning. Yeah, about early this morning time frame. Let's see what else we got here across the globe. Not a whole lot happening. Uh, if you look at the western Pacific here, adjacent plates, the Philippine plate up around the Java Trench, things are very quiet. It's backed off. Uh, tremendously from yesterday and overnight 
Uh, so now we're kind of tilting that teeter-tot here up around the west coast, North American plate. And um, it might be something to watch pretty closely. Again, we haven't really seen too much activity here around the Western Pacific. And uh, that only means one thing that uh, kind of puts us on target for now, uh, unless we see something major uh, making adjustments over here. And those were some of our quiet zones from uh, the past couple days, considering we've seen quite a bit of activity uh, throughout the region, you know, including a 7.6 and a 7.0 and a bunch of sixes. Uh, some of those quiet zones consist of the Solomon Islands up around the Mariana Trench. And of course, the Curl Kamchaka Trench has been quiet for months far as any large scale activity goes. Um, so those are a couple spots to watch for some larger scale activity, which would limit and release some pressure out here along the West Coast. But for now, I think we got to watch the West Coast lighten up like this. Uh, again, latest earthquake 3.3 near the Los Banos area. All right, let's see what else we got. Hawaii. Uh, not a whole lot. Not pop, nothing popping up here within the last hour anyway. And if you look at that jump in the time frame, um, there was a pretty good area of quiet activity from last night to this morning. So things are just somewhat very, very quiet there at the uh, Big Island. Up in the Alaska area, about the same. A couple small microquakes up there kicking up and some movement out around the Aleutian Trench. But uh, overall, things just kind of mellow there for now. But that's it's possible it could pick back up. Uh, now that we're getting lit up on the west coast, Yellowstone swarming. You guys notice that? We, we, we get very quiet over here. And uh, a good indicator of some pressure out here along the west coast, not only around the plate boundary, right? But we start seeing these inland quakes there at some of the oil fields. fields. They start popping off under pressure from the, uh, plate, the, the plate movement. And uh, Yellowstone sometimes swarm, swarms as well um, when it comes to the uh, increase in pressure out here. Uh, along the plate boundaries here along the west coast so uh not all the time though uh, sometimes yellowstone just you know does its own things but uh today's one of those days where we're seeing it light up along with the west coast all right what else do we have here um space weather i gotta do a drawing here for our members in a couple hours um we are giving away some earth master merchandise for our members only, uh, you still have a chance to get in. Um, up, uh, pretty much up until the drawing, which is gonna be here. Uh, we'll set the drawing at, uh, we're gonna do it at three o'clock, my time. Uh, right now it's 1.15. So in just about, oh, about an hour and 45 minutes or so, we'll do that uh, drawing and we'll do it live here on the channel. Uh, of course, in person, it'll be a separate live stream, um, and that will be for the uh, for the members. Three o'clock, seven o'clock Eastern, and so on. All right, space weather. Uh, not a whole lot of flares popping off, but we do have an extended uh, period of some possible storming kicking up here on the three-day geomagnetic forecast. Uh, that is from a glancing blow, so to speak, of a coronal hole, number 23, that had been facing us. The latest imagery right here shows that coronal hole kind of scooting off there towards the western limb of the sun. But uh, we are still feeling some of the effects from that, uh, from the high winds, the high solar wind stream that's flowing out of that hole. And that could elevate some conditions here at the higher latitudes with, uh, looks like between 35 and 50% chance uh, for the folks up at the uh, the higher latitudes. Lucky them. All right, far as space weather goes, uh, sunspots, I mean. Uh, well, that's it. They're just there. <laughs> no major dynamic uh, complex fields that we're looking at here amongst any of these sunspots. Um, so we're not we're really not forecasting anything major to pop up. These guys are still showing a 99% chance of a C flare, 35% chance for an M flare with a probability of 5% for an X flare. But I believe that was based off of 3098. Uh, that's going to be this large sunspot over here. 
Uh, and that that's a, about a day old. So if you look at the most recent image here, it's kind of uh, decaying and it is will be facing away from Earth and not visible here very soon. So that will probably be adjusted here by tonight's update. Um, but yeah, that's about it, folks. Um, just be on guard out here along the West Coast. Uh, things kind of lighten up out here. When things go quiet along the West, right here, it's time to watch the East and vice versa. But also, don't take your definitely don't take your eye off of this area uh, along the uh, Western Pacific and those quiet zones. Um, you know, I, I still think that the strain is there to see some larger earthquake activity. Um, and it's just a matter of time how much strain is going to be built up here uh, in the Crocom, Chaka Trench, Solomon Islands area, Mariana Trench. All those areas really haven't been hit with any uh, large-scale activity or any moderate activity for that matter over the last week. So watch these areas pretty closely, folks. And uh, Yellowstone continuing to swarm. We'll do a little bit further update on that tonight. But uh, till then, we'll catch you guys a little bit later tonight. Don't forget, members, um, drawing at 3 p.m. West Coast time here. In about an hour and 40 minutes, we'll do the drawing held live uh, for those members. Alrighty, guys. Have a good day out there and uh, stay safe. Be prepared. We will chat you guys very soon. Peace out, everyone.